my hypothesis was what if there's a functional deficiency happening? What if, because it's made in the L cells of the gut and it's made in the brain, so it must have a pretty important role in the brain besides just appetite. I don't necessarily think it's an appetite suppression signaling peptide hormone. I think it's an appetite control. I think it's, it's one of the levers that manages and impacts appetite. All right. So it's made in the gut. A lot of people have gut atrophy as they age. Most people do. We know that we lose the ability to make HCL in our stomachs. We know that we lose intrinsic factor that's manufactured in our stomachs. We know that there's issues with the many, many, many molecules that are secreted by our gut lining as we age due to atrophy. We know that those who have inflamed guts due to inflammatory bowel disease, for instance, like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, they are going to have definite issues with the molecules that are coming out of the gut because their guts are inflamed and they are in bad shape. But I cannot tell you the number of patients I have who have IBS and when their IBS flares, their pain flares. And when their IBS flares, their depression flares. So we know that what's going on with the gut directly impacts the rest of the body intimately. So my thinking was, well, if the L cells are in the gut and the gut is trashed or there's like decades of leaky gut or inflammatory gut issues or pathogens in the gut, then I'm going to guess that their GLP-1 production might be compromised to some degree, maybe. And what if we just replenished back the little tiny amount that their body would normally be making? 